Welcome back to the channel guys. Today's video we're going to look at Binance and PancakeSwap and the Binance Smart Chain ecosystem. In particular, the charts. That's what we love the most. That's what we want to understand to see if there is potential to make some extra crypto, potentially some fiat. So if you like the sound of that, let me know. Hit the subscribe button down below on our way to 110,000 subscribers. Bell notification icon goes a long way to helping out the channel in the YouTube algorithm. And of course, like the video up. That also helps a hell of a lot. It only takes a second. Thumb it up down below. My Twitter account over here if you want to come and follow. Reason being is we go through some polls and then I like to see what you guys are thinking so I can use it on the channel as well. So head across to there, follow along, answer some polls, join in some questions, all the good stuff over there. Last poll I've had here, will you hold LTC long term or pump it on or dump it on the next pump? So far most people are looking to pump it and dump it you think differently, go over and have your say. So as I said, today's video, we're looking at Binance. Now, Binance has obviously been around a long time. It's a fantastic app, fantastic platform to trade. It has a ton of crypto. So if you don't already have an account, there is a link to Binance in the description down below. You can use it from almost anywhere across the world. You might just need your specific versions like Binance Jersey or Binance US. Uh, but for the Aussies, there's Binance Australia, but I believe you can also just use the regular Binance, which, as I said, link to in the description down below. So I bring them up just to explain a little bit, very briefly, about the ecosystem. They have a ton of stuff here. Uh, I like to use them for trading, of course, and they have staking. Staking is a really easy, cool feature, so I don't have to go and use any other wallets or decentralized things or anything like that. It, they're still great. Decentralization is the way of the future at the moment. It is very costly and expensive. We've seen that with Uniswap. That's why now we have PancakeSwap on Binance, on Binance's smart chain, which of course is on Ethereum. So on top of their low fees, really great interest rates that you can earn by staking your cryptocurrency on their platform, basically earning interest on it, they have Binance Academy. Now, this isn't something that's going to earn you a ton of money, but if you're looking for good sources to understand how to use certain things on Binance or in the cryptocurrency space, definitely check out Binance Academy. Every, almost everything you can think of is here. Plus, they have the tutorials in order to set up your uh, your Binance Smart Chain apps or anything to do with in that space. I recently used it for Trust Wallet so that I could learn how to uh, include, or basically accept my BEP20 tokens, my BEP20 tokens. And so it's all on here and it's a legitimate source. You don't have to worry about someone trying to scam you or you're getting the information from a credible source. It's all on here on the Binance Academy. So I just wanted to make mention to that, especially if you're new to the space and you're trying to understand what the hell is this whole thing about. So Binance, huge. You can see 2.3 million followers on Instagram. The major place that people go to trade, they have trading volumes around 30 billion. I hope I get those numbers right. And the next closest competitor was Coinbase Pro at around 3 to 4 billion. So they're well and truly out in front. Google Trends, I'd just put this in seven days. US, what a weird pattern. About every day at 4 to 6 p.m., the search term Binance has a spike. Is that because people are coming home from work in the US, searching Binance, getting on to trade some cryptocurrencies? That's the only thing I can come up with. You guys let me know. Are they doing a burn every day that everyone's trying to look for? I know they have their 15th burn coming out, so Binance is also burning their tokens, and that is what also set the price skyrocketing in the last couple of months. Look at this, every day, around 4, 5, 6 p.m. 4, 5, 6 p.m. 4, 5, 6 p.m. And yesterday we had an even bigger spike, around 6 p.m. So massive. If you can explain it, let me know in the comments. The other search engine I've got here is uh, PancakeSwap, because Pancake is pretty hot at the moment. So I thought I'd just see what's going on there, and it has increased over the last 24 hours. Fear and greed, getting into that extreme greed territory. We just touched into that today. Yesterday, 72, 65, and last month, funny, it was extremely fearful. So I think people are starting to figure out this pattern that we swing back into fear, and then it goes greedy again. This is the whole buy the dip situation. And as we get down into that 30 to 40 region, maybe even around the 50 region, it's a good buy the dip opportunity. We don't need to buy it on the way down and catching the falling knife every time. But essentially, that's what we're looking at here, just to bring that into our trading as well. So as I said, we're going to get across to the charts on Binance. Here we have $1.8 trillion market cap. Binance, $47 billion. It has seen a little spike today. We've just cooled off a touch over the last hour or two. 
uh, up 20% on the week and 12% in the last 24 hours. Pancake swap is a little further down the page, right here, number 44, 10% up in the last 24 hours, 61% up in the last week. Okay, so it's doing pretty well, and the market cap is at 2.7 billion. I'm nearly going to say trillion, but 2.7 billion. The Binance chart, where we want to start, we have a bit of a takeoff as the PayPal news came out yesterday. So it wasn't much movement on Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Litecoin, but uh, the PayPal news got Binance. So go figure. Good volume breakout. This is on the four hour chart, so we are looking at a lower time frame. Got a nice clean break above all of these highs, plus these two highs here, but not this little peak just yet. I think we'll get there. We have had a touch very close to it, if not just above it. So Binance is looking quite strong, especially after big volume breaks through these highs. That's what we want to see. And these were the levels we were watching as a consolidation period. So we had these already displayed on the charts, uh, that $270 level, very easy to see. It's just all of those tops coming through there. We've broken through it now. Higher lows, there's a low right here at $230, another low, approximately $220. These lows were around $200, $190. So it has gone a lot further and has held up much stronger than I was even expecting. So finance, very strong. It's something that I added to in my portfolio today, especially when I look at the top 10 projects. Binance is something that has a very big ecosystem. It has products, it has services, it has income. Ethereum, similar. It has products, services, income. It's doing everything in the space. It's connecting itself. There's a network effect going on. I think Binance is pretty safe in that regard. Not going to quote me on any of that, but that's why I like Binance as well. Compare that to Polkadot. doesn't have anything yet. It's purely speculation. Compare it to Cardano. doesn't have anything yet. Okay, it has a main net. You can stake on it and get some extra Cardano, but it doesn't have the smart contracts. It doesn't have anything. Sure, partners are coming, but get the point here. Binance is making a profit, and it's only, slight, it's only valued slightly more than Cardano. These guys are a big business, been around a long time, and they are looking to shift into the, like, the rest of the traditional market space as well with their Binance debit cards and different payment systems. There's a lot going on for Binance. All I can say is these other cryptos have got to uh, basically keep up in order to get their prices up there. Don't hate any of them, so chill out in the comments if that's you. Binance, I think it's undervalued when I compare it like that. And so it looks like we're going on another pretty big run at this point. So should we get Binance to, say, $1,000? It's three times from where we are now. Let's call it $50 billion. Probably see it going to about $150 billion. Not, not bad, $150 billion. I think that's probably very within reason for Binance. So it's a small increase when you think of it in percentage terms compared to other cryptocurrencies, but compared to what they've produced in their pricing compared to the other cryptocurrencies, I think it's a much safer bet. So my thoughts have very much swung in the way of Binance. That's what happens when you're investing. This is what happens. You've got to be nimble on your feet like we looked at in the previous videos of billionaires that hated Bitcoin have now said, screw it, I'm going to get into Bitcoin. It's just what happens. So stick with it. Don't get married to anything. Just see the opportunity for what it is. Uh, Binance, break out of these highs. Break out again of these highs here. See the dotted line it's sitting above those, coming back to retest. We can get a break above these highs and, re and uh, basically break and then retest those as well. Another strong sign for the potential breakout above this uh, previous all-time high of around $350. So Binance, amazing. All right, I'll stop banging on about the Binance USD chart. Looks good. Binance BTC chart, reasonably strong as well. We're in a, a range bound area here. So it's sort of a rectangle, nice support and resistance happening at the moment for Binance BTC. We're at the top of that range, so just be careful with that. Should we come back? I don't think it's got too far to go. We break down from here, then of course, it's much better to be holding Bitcoin instead of Binance. The whole idea with looking at a crypto versus a Bitcoin chart, an altcoin versus a Bitcoin chart, is to understand our risk. And at the moment, if this happens to head up, if Binance gets stronger on this chart, which is versus Bitcoin, then we're better off having Binance than Bitcoin, or at least to balance out the risk or get the better returns on a lower risk project. 
Now, the last crypto I want to have a look at is PancakeSwap. So I've just got PancakeSwap up on KuCoin. This is the chart that comes up on TradingView if you want to use that. There's a link to TradingView in the description down below. So check that out. Here are the tops. We are starting to break out of the old tops. That's what we want to see here. It's a breakout trade. It's a safer trade. Obviously, we need to get a break past it, a retest. If we don't get a retest, at least a higher close. That's what we want. We don't want to see it break above like we saw yesterday and then close back under it on high volume. So this is still in a precarious state. Definitely want to see it close above this old high here. So just to bring that in and make it a little bit more accurate. Sitting at around $19.05. So we get a close around that 19.10, 19.20. There's a good start. So pancake swap looks like it is also uh, on the brink of very cleanly breaking out. Now we have seen a very good pattern here. This is what we definitely want to see. So it's been trading since mid-February. This is the pattern that we look for. The highs, high right here. I'll circle that for you guys. Brush, high, high, high. And we broke out right here. Oh, what do you know? Broke out on high volume, continued up on high volume, tested, and away we go again. This is the only concerning thing for me. It's just a one day bar at the end of a major trend on high volume reversal. So that's why I want to see the confirmation of the break above. I think we'll get it. Everyone's very bullish for uh, all point season in April. So I think we'll get that. The rest of this move, look at that down. Volume, volume was dropping here as well. And then we got the breakout above this level. This is a very good pattern, a good bottoming structure and that's why I think we've got a lot more potential to go with Pancake Swap as well. So that's looking really good. Pancake Swap, we just saw it at around $2.7 billion market cap. Uh, if it, it trades anything like a Uniswap or it gets to those sort of prices, then we're looking at around a $15 to $16 billion market cap, which is what Uniswap's at the moment. So $3 billion to $15, there's an easy 5x on that. We'll see if it gets there. I think it could probably get to you know, $100, $100 cake. $100 cake, we're at 19 bucks now. There's our five times, you know, 40, 60, 80, 100. I think we could get there, looking good. So that's what I see for PancakeSwap and Binance. I think they're two great projects in a great ecosystem, solving that gas fee problem at the moment, even though they're not decentralized like Ethereum. But I think most people don't really care that much at the moment. There's the, it's great that we have both options. We definitely need the decentralization. But for the most part, I think people are pretty happy trading on centralized exchanges and these projects basically are solving that problem at the moment. So if you enjoyed that, let me know. Hit the like button down below if you found some value from it. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. If you're returning, thank you very much. Hit that bell notification icon as well. And I'll catch you guys at the next video. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Daily updates, portfolio updates. Q&As, everything is over there. So all those links are in the description down below. And you can get a link to my course also down below. So that's for the Investor Accelerator. Discounts are still on for a limited time. Catch you guys in the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.